Nunca. Nunca lo he escuchado. Patricia Garcia Danner lives about as close to El Paso's Franklin Mountains as you can get. But she's never heard of the Las Padre Mine, a legend of old fortunes tucked within the rocky foothills. Muy interesante. So we filled her in with the help of local historian and filmmaker Jackson Polk. The legends on this mountain are amazing. He says he knows of at least three different legends. The first one centers around Don Juan de Oñate. The story goes in 1598, as Oñate explored the land that would become El Paso, he brought gold and silver along with him. As soon as he got across the river, he stuck a flag in, said it belongs to the king. And instead of taking it all the way up into New Mexico, he banked it into Franklin's. Legend number two, the Franklins were used to stash precious items following the violent Pueblo Revolt of 1680. When the natives chased the Spanish out of Santa Fe, the Spaniards, history says, ran to El Paso, possibly taking their treasure with them. When they got here, they thought maybe the Pueblo Indians were still right behind them. And so they said, well, let's hide this stuff. Hidden in plain sight, perhaps. Polk says the old mission in downtown Juarez supposedly has a direct line of sight to the entrance of the Los Padre mine. Nobody's been able yet to find it. But as Polk found while putting together his own film on the topic, that line of sight is now blocked by a new cathedral. Still, Polk says there is evidence that the Catholic Church in Juarez went looking for the treasure, sending clergy across the border to poke around the mountain. Polk told us there was a woman who, in the 1950s and 60s, lived at the very end of Rim Road at the Franklin's Edge. As a little girl, she used to go out in front and see people trying to drink out of their hose. She, she said, who are you people? Why are you here? And well, we're thirsty, we just come from Juarez, we're up on the mountain here looking for the Lost Padre Mine. You're doing what? The third legend revolves around a revolutionary, Mexican General Ancho Villa. The Mexican Revolution was going on, man. He might not be on the winning end, so he put some stuff in the Franklin Mountains. Pancho Villa did to have it as a future bank. All right, let's go treasure hunting. So photojournalist Cesar Ruiz and I decided to go looking for the Las Padre Mine. And what better place to start than the street named after the legend itself, Las Padre Mine Drive. That's cool for you, Back in 1967, when the area was first being developed, an out-of-town couple claiming to know where the mine was started digging, but turned up nothing after a few days. Then in 1993, a utility crew working inside of a manhole at the nearby intersection of Murchison and Georgia stumbled onto a large cavern below the street. City leaders quickly stepped in and the entrance was sealed, never to be explored. Cueva de Oro, cave of gold. Yeah. Gotta I be think. this way. But back to our treasure hunt. Things started off a little slowly as we looked for a safe and legal way to get onto the mountain. Well, there's scenic drive up there. A dead end. Rim Road? No. I think somebody found it already. There's a star in the mountain. Where? Let's check it out. We eventually got permission to look around this part of the western foothills, so we wandered for an afternoon. Experts say the Franklins are mostly limestone, so there is a possibility for large caves. And we did find some interesting openings into the mountain, but nothing very cavernous. We also saw some pretty nice scenery, but there's some critters up here. Come on down. All right. We didn't find anything. Sí, sí, tenemos detectores, sí. Down below, Patricia says she actually has some metal detectors, so she and her husband are going to put them to use. Though she says she thinks she already has her treasure. Tenemos un panorama precioso. Vemos this todo el beautiful paso. view of a beautiful city, already rich in its history. Muy bonito. With photojournalist Cesar Ruiz, Daniel Marin, News Channel 9.